historians who have been exiled to the forsaken continent of Rayquast. The Majesties of Orient the Merciful and have granted all exiles one weapon. Choose wisely. Orient has bestowed a gift upon you, a chance to redeem your crimes, a new life. Do not squander it. I fought, wept, and bled for God and the Order. I would have died for my Templar brothers, every single one. And how do they reward my piety, my devotion? They exile me to the land of the damned, to Rayclast. I know now that my brethren are merely God's tools. He has given me this path to walk, so I shall muster my strength and my power, and my faith. It is my shield against the darkness to come. A simple job, I was told. Silence a big mouth, get a big payout, and no one was going to be the wiser. Tidy, except for one loose end. Me. I would have kept my mouth shut. Professional integrity, it's called. Unfortunately, not something my employers believed in. They raised a toast to a job well done. I drank, and the next thing I know, I'm on this stinking crate bound for exile. It's not a complete loss, I suppose. The way I hear it, there'll be plenty of work for a man of my talents in Rayclast. I am a warrior. I was born to fight, raised to defend my tribe. Now, I have been taken from my people, chained and exiled by cowards who fear death. Death is my brother. I do not fear him. I see him in the eyes of the men and beasts that I kill. I feel him traveling beside me to this new land, this Rayclast. He will take me to meet the ancestors when I am ready, and I am not ready. You can't own a life. Not a deer's, not a rabbit's, and not mine. Every soul has a birth-given right to live however they will, however they can. I take from the wilderness, and one day it'll take me in return. Not that the fat lords of Arith believe in such things. They call me poacher and thief. Clap me in irons and haul me like cargo into exile. No matter. I'll make the forests and mountains of Rayclass my new home. My freedom and my bow. That's all I need. He had it coming. Was I supposed to bear such insults with an action simply because of his high birth? That lord sang a different tune with six inches of steel in his guts. Now they call me a criminal for defending my honor. I'd do the same again to anyone who crossed me. I care naught for riches, little for friendship. The duel is all I need. I may be in exile, but I will carve a road back to Oriath one foe, one victory at a time. Ill fortune may have banished me to Rayclast, but I will live to hear them scream my name in the great arenas again. They were right to fear me. If only they had listened to their cowardice. Had they not taken my home with fire, I would not have taken their children. Now I am banished to Rayclast. I have heard the dark rumors, seen the terror in the other exiles' eyes. But to me, one land is like any other. The elements are my allies, the dead are my servants, and fear will be my closest friend. I fought, wept, and bled for God and the Order. I would have died for my temple. A simple job, I was told. Silence a big mouth, get a big payout, and no one tidy, except for one loose end. Me. I would have kept my mouth shut. Profession
Nothing like a brisk dip to start the day. Now where on God's ass am I? We're all that made it. They dumped two dozen of us exiles off the ship. Guess that makes us the lucky ones. Luckier than this poor bastard beside me, at any rate. <coughs> Splinter sticking out of me? Missed all the important bits. I saw smoke at those ruins up the beach. Go get some help, and I might just... <coughs>
It's nice not being dead yet. 